Hello Aquarius and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks which is the 29th of March to the 12th of April 2021 and it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading I need to consult the Oracle and this is the Sacred Traveler's Oracle and I'll be using this to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious Oracle has for Seth. For, sorry, for Aquarius, Aquarius, for the 29th of March to the 12th of April, 2021. What messages are here for Aquarius for the next two weeks? What does Aquarius need to know at this time? So let's see. This doesn't fan nicely. I'm just going to take that. And the lovely card stock. Oh, the two have come out, but it doesn't like to fan. <clears throat> so let's see what you get, Aquarius. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. So this is a time where, you know, you may enter a liminal space. Um, synchronicities may occur. Um, and perhaps just a sense of magic in the air for you. That's lovely. And you've got rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. So perhaps after a stormy period, a bit of gloom, I get a sense that things are brightening up and there's a... A lovely sense of etherealness in, in the energies around you now. Magic. Believe in magic. I just love that. It's sweet. So you've got journey by moonlight. Things being magical. Um, timings, important synchronicities. And, and perhaps you might notice beautiful, um, amazing things that seem very magical in the moment. It's just a lovely time and rainbow blessings, you know, um, renewed hope and faith after perhaps a difficult time. So there you have it, rainbow blessings and journey by moonlight. But let's see where the rest of the reading goes. So let's see what's on the cards for Aquarius for the... 29th of March to the 12th of April 2021. <clears throat> what messages are here for Aquarius in the next couple of weeks? What does Aquarius need to know? So this is the deck of celestials um, and I'll be using this to draw an eight card spread for you. For the first two cards depicting you, where you are now, and the next two cards highlighting the challenges you face at this time. And the following two cards will offer you some guidance from divine energy as you journey on towards the final two cards which reveal your possible outcome to this time period. So let's see what you get. You start with the Page of Wands, burst of energy and in, you know, a sense of knowing where you want to go, building something up. Let's just put all the cards out there. You've got the, the Four of Pentacles. Your challenge is the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. <clears throat> so your challenge is finding harmony and joy and happiness and that rainbow and feeling successful. 
And then your guidance from spirit is the hermit in judgment. You're being called to something better. And look at your outcome. You've got um, the six of cups and the ace of ones really lovely it is the energy is really quite amazing and then you've got the um eight of cups here so this shows this to me depicts the time before your rainbow blessing moving on from something that is not entirely fulfilling that has some cracks to it and um, you know something that may have been secure may have been stable may have felt good for some time but you feel you need to move away from that now it's it's holding you back it's there's something bigger something better something more fulfilling that's drawing you and sort of shows leaving something behind in order to find something better now here's where you are um, materially secure and stable but with this burst of energy this this desire to um, begin something new pages are you know sort of like in the early stages of manifesting of putting something into material form an idea a suggestion and ones is all about your willpower and your creativity it could well simply be work in orientated things but it sort of shows a willingness or a, a, a desire to um, begin something or to, to take something from idea form into material form, something that stirs your, your passions, something that's creative and exciting. Because you may have felt a little stayed, a little stagnated, even though on a material level you've gained a sense of security and stability. And it's good to feel stable and secure. And perhaps it's now that you're feeling stable and secure, you can allow your your creativity and um, <clears throat> energy. <clears throat> pardon your your um, you can allow your creativity to to sort of begin to bubble over and and, and spur you on to better things, because here you your challenge is, is is you know you may have been secure in that, but you've not felt that you've achieved what you wanted to achieve. The the six of ones is about acclaim and success, having achieved something. And as it's in your challenge position, it sort of suggests that you you haven't had that, you, you don't have that sense of achievement. And that's perhaps what you're wanting. Um, you don't feel entirely fulfilled. You don't feel you quite resonate with where you are. And that sort of fits in with this moving away from something that may have once felt stable, secure, harmonious, but now it's lacking and you, you're seeking something better. You want to feel that total harmonious connection and enjoyment, whether it's with work-related things or in a relationship um, or a, a home, because, you know, for some of you this might be about moving home. <clears throat> So you're, that's what you're yearning for, a sense of accomplishment and a sense of connectiveness, of harmony, of balance in your relationship with a place or, or a group of people or a person. So your guidance. Well, this suggests you need to do some soul seeking. You need to do some reflection on your own. Take yourself away from the busyness and mull things over. You'll find the answers from within. The answers are with you all the time. That's what the message of the hermit is. Finding your answers within and following. It's very much like the, the Eight of Cups. It's about following your intuitive and um, <clears throat> deeper spiritual calling to find something better, to find something more fulfilling. And you've also got as part of your guidance, you've got judgments sort of saying something's awakening within you. And this is the, the spurring, this, the sense of magic in the air. There's something wakening up in you and um, something coming to the fore. It's a calling and it's sort of like finding that place you truly belong, that sense of the right job, the right town, the right house, the right person. It's about finding that sense of 
totality, of unity, of harmony. This particular judgment is just really positive. It's, it's got a little rainbow there and all this lovely stardust. It sort of really talks of rising up, reinventing yourself and answering a calling that's perhaps been niggling at the back of you for some time now and is really emerging. And it sort of denotes good times, you know, finding that harmony and that treasure and that joy. Um, <clears throat> it moves you towards like towards the end of this time frame finding that happiness and that happiness actually connects with something or someone from the past it's an, almost like you reconnect with something or reconnect with someone and that joy and that blessings just feel paramount they sort of come welling up the light that sort of shines out is just exhilarating for you. So it shows that, you know, reconnecting to something that you may have forgotten or finding that piece of yourself that you thought had been lost forever. And the joy that brings, the harmony you feel and the, the magic that um, sparks off this wonderful new beginning. The... Ace of Wands is about a, a, a spark, um, an, um, a conception of an idea, a beginning of something really bright and creative and wonderful. It just You get a sense of harmony and creativity of a, a, a bright, promising new beginning at the end of this week and connecting to a piece of yourself you thought you'd lost forever. But finding that again and that's very magical for you it's just wonderful absolutely shining energies for you full of um, light and harmony and joy so there you have it Aquarius I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you and if so please remember to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and then have yourself a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again